Hey guys, first line here. I am on my uh, creative world, back with another episode of Crazy Command Blocks. Last episode, I showed you all of this stuff, all of the lives, and uh, this episode, I'm going to show you about sorting out teams. Now, right now, what you can see uh, in the lives sidebar is Flyer Slime in red. Has five lives and Chili Thirty Seven in blue is zero. No, I am not here with Chili Seven today. We played for basically the entire morning. Well, not the entire morning. No, yeah, the entire morning and uh, yesterday. But we tried recording. It didn't work. We were trying to record that stuff up there, but um. So the first thing you're going to need for the team sorting system is teams. So if you want to create a team, what you're going to do is you're going to go scoreboard, teams, add, and then name it. You can name it whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Then, if you want to join the team, once you've created it using that system, you go over to here and you type in the sequence of scoreboard, teams, join the team name, and then the closest player. So what this does is it gets the closest player to join team. But now it. Uh, okay, I'm not going to do that. So the closest. Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> what am I saying? The closest player joins blue team. That's simple. Same for here. Closest player joins red team. Now uh, you can join the teams but you can't leave the teams. Leaving the teams is exactly the same except different nailed it, as joining teams. You go scoreboard teams leave the name of the team and the closest player. So the closest player can leave the blue team. Same for this one, closest player can leave the red team. So if I were to go ahead and I would like I want to be in the red blue team. And now I'm in the blue team. Look at you can see on the thing. I'm I'm in the blue team. But now I want to be in the red team. Now I want to be in no team. I'm leaving the red team. Now I want to be in the red blue team. Now I want to leave the blue team. You can be creative. Yeah. Woo, creativity. Yeah. Now before I go on to the next thing, I just want to explain that if I left you with those two things, and you went and built that now, you will not get the same thing as what I was getting, even if you had the life system. Because right now I have one thing that you like to call color. That does not come automatically, it is a setting. So yours, if you did that right now, would little would look something a little like this. It's all white. No matter what team you're in, it's all white. So what you gotta do is you gotta come out over here and you gotta go to color. Yeah. Color. How long have we been recording? Alright, four five minutes, whatever. Yep, go. Color. So uh color, it's pretty simple. To give something color, you know, you can either choose red or blue or anything color. So what you gotta do is you gotta go sport scoreboard teams option. That's the first thing you gotta do. Then you gotta choose your team name. So my team name is blue for for the team blue. So you'll choose your team name. Then you'll go ahead and you'll write color. Then you'll say the color that you would like. You type the color that you would like to have it in. So when I hit that, it'll put the blue team into the color blue. It's the same for the red team, scoreboard teams, options, uh, n name, color, then the color you want. Red, color, red, and hit that, it turns to red. So what you could do to irritate people, if they think they're on the blue team, but it could look like they're on the red team, how do you do this? Well, you go right into here and you go scoreboard teams option, blue, but it's colored red, not blue. Look right there, Chili37 is in the blue team, but it looks like he's in the red team, meshing with people. <laughs> okay, and the next thing, the next thing is listing the people in your team. This one, it's not a button thing, well it can be, it's just it won't display like anywhere down here. Wow, that's a lot of commands. But what it will do is display it in here. What you can also do is take this scoreboard teams list and then the team name copy it so 
Oops, and then stick it in here. Scorebo teams list blue, and then it will show me all the teams, all the players in the team blue, which is Chili Thirty Seven, even though it looks like he's in red. Same thing goes for Team Red. You copy that. So scoreboard teams list red. If I do that, instantly it shows I am in Team Red. This is a foolproof way to show who's in what team, no matter what color that is. So that is the plan to fix this problem. All right, the next two I can't actually, um, I can't demonstrate them, because one's friendly fire and the other is friendly invisibles. So I'm, um, you'll get the point though. So what we got here is we got friendly fire. You scoreboard teams options blue, friendly fire true. So team name friendly fire what you want it to be true or false. It's that simple. Works either way. And what this does is if it's true, then you can hit your own teammates. Or I think that's right. And if it's false, you can't hit your own teammates. It doesn't do anything. Or it's the other way around. It's probably the other way around. I'll have to test that out, out on Thomas. <laughs> and uh, see friendly invisibles, the exact same system as uh, friendly fire. Scoreboard teams options, team name, see friendly invisibles, true or false. Same goes for here, here, and here. So what these do is, if you're invisible and there's someone on your same team who isn't invisible, they will still be able to see you. Or is or isn't, it doesn't actually matter. They will still be able to see you if you're, they're on your same team. This is useful for um, things like, oh, I don't know, mm. that game, what's that called, uh, Ghostbusters, when the ghosts are invisible and then the humans aren't, and it would be the teams, ghosts and hunters, and then the ghosts would be able to see friendly invisibles, and they would all be invisible. And that is exactly what you would use this for, to see your friendly invisibles. Alright, so the last thing here is the exact same reason you were here in the first place. This is the contraption that will let you test for if you were in the red team, red, or the blue team. Blue. So these two command blocks here, they have a radius of 5, so as soon as I stand on this platform, it, they will activate. And what these do, actually, let, let me just show you. Bam. The red block came up. Why? Because I'm in the team red. How does that happen? Well, let me show you. See this? This is a clock. It's going around. It is activating these two every second, probably. Probably like every fifth of a second. I don't care. These command blocks, each of them, one's red and one's blue. The red one, it goes test for... Um, Test for the fact that the closest player has is in the team red and is in a radius of five. So if I am in the team blue, it would not go. If I was not in a radius of five, it would not go. And so yeah, as soon as I leave that radius, it closes. It goes down. As soon as I enter the radius, it goes up. If I'm in the blue team, the same thing happens. Uh, as soon as I step on here, the blue one will come up because it tests for any person in the team blue. At a, at a radius of 5, actually not any person, the closest person. So, um, yeah, that that's why you're here, that's why you've come, that's, you know, why the life is awesome. This is how you, uh, you know, separate reds from blues. What you would normally do is instead of having pistons here, you would have command blocks and they would TP you to, um, to where you want it to go. So you would have a block here, just pretend that that was there, and then that would go TP, blah blah blah, and you would have one here, and so if you're in the team blue, as soon as you came here, that would go, and if you're team red, that would go, instead of that one. It's a pretty good system, and I use it up there, and it works, unless you're Chili37, then you manage a way to break it. That's not important. The important thing is, I've officially taught you everything you need to know about teams and life. If you guys have any more questions that uh, of anything I missed out, like, um, I have missed out one thing about, um, what happens here if you're in non no team and where do you teleport to? Um, if you guys really want me to tell you, I'm not going to. 
you can ask me and, and I'll tell you in the next video. So, um, yeah, but other than that, if you uh, notice I missed out anything, just say so. And uh, I'll fill it in for you. Alright guys, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please do leave a like. Um, if you didn't like this video, you know, don't leave a like and say, what can I do better? You know, I can um, um, eat my pants. That'll get me likes. Right? Right? Yep. Cool. Uh, happy birthday, guys. If this is not your birthday, please do give this someone to someone whose birthday it is. I really do like saying happy birthday to people. You know, because, uh, what was it? Oh, eight days ago now. Uh, it was my sister's birthday, so I kind of have to say happy birthday to everyone. But um, other than that, uh, happy birthday. Um, no, see you guys. Bye.